All right. Let's give a copy of Fighter Within to Jesus Gonzalez, who asks, are the combinations difficult to learn? The combinations are actually the easiest part about it, um, and the best part, in my opinion, because it, um, it doesn't track, like, it's not, it's not judging how hard you're hitting, but it definitely is taking your speed of how of, of your punches into account. So if you want to really throw a flurry of punches <laughs> fast, you can totally do it. And this is like... This is their engine, right? Yeah, powered by beer, beer. I was gonna say, this in all the Twisted Pixel Th games. This is, what you just saw is in my opinion, and this is not to like knock the game or Twisted Pixel, but that is the best part of this game, is the live action. That's not, just, oh. not, just, not just that <laughs> intro, but, not these, but the live action pieces, Ooh. they are so unhinged and crazy and silly, and that's the part, like, that's I think my favorite thing about it, is that uh, it's got this imagination to it. Let's see. We're gonna use mine because, yeah, go for it. because it's got all this stuff unlocked. Because I reviewed this her game. That's right. Is your review up now? Yeah, my review is up. It was up. Uh, it was up on Monday. So what did you give it? Um, I gave it a six point four. Okay. Um, which is okay. Yeah. And that's you know that's that's what the game is. You know the the gameplay gameplay wise, it's not it's not at all terrible. And in fact, in short doses, it can be a good time. It just it it does get kind of repetitive because while the game kind of mixes up and mashes up a lot of different gameplay styles, um, every instance of that style is very much. Is very much the same. So, like when yeah. you, when you see a new gameplay style early, you know, like introduced, say in level three, like when you get to a later level, you're gonna see that again. Mm. But it's gonna be almost the same exact thing. Like whatever you did to figure it out the first mm. time is pretty much the same thing you do to figure out the second time. Um, yeah, it's, you know, thereafter. it's disappointing because I'm personally a really big fan of Twisted Pixel. Yeah, Explosion yeah. Man and Miss Explosion uh, Man are so, so, so good. Yeah, so let, me, good. let me. They've, in my opinion, sort of like Turn Ten. They've never made uh, a game that wasn't great until. This because uh, we had the Maw was the Maw. their first game, which I love. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, great mascot mm -hmm. action adventure game. Uh, I still have my Maw plushie on my desk. I love that thing. And then yeah, you had Explosion Man, Ms. Explosion Man, Comic Jumper, mm -hmm. and arguably uh, yeah, I was just gonna say Gunstringer, arguably right? the best yeah. connect driven game game as opposed to like dance or exercise or dance central kind mm -hmm. of game. Yeah, the Gunstringer, which was fantastic and also full of humor. So it's. You know, I have the fact that you know Twisted Pixel is now five for six. Yeah. Uh, you know, sure. I, I will be very much anticipating their next project. Yeah. Yeah, and this is uh, see, I love I love this. This is a good example of what I'm talking about with the with the variety. So this is like a rail shooter section. You don't have too many of these in the game, but they are there, and you can see very very cheesily they've kind of put like overlaid, you know, overlaid like stock footage video in the background to kind of mirror that like B movie yeah. kind of feel. Um, and that's like that's the, that's another thing that I do like about this game. For as as, um, as repetitive as the gameplay can get, um, they really do clearly love like the kind of kitschy like. <laughs> okay, that's whole, funny. Yeah, yeah, the whole like eighties action. Movie yeah, eighties and nineties. Like like if you grew up in the eighties and nineties and loving yeah. action adventure movies from that era, like the kind of stuff you would see on at like two in the morning and like watch it because nothing else was on because you kind of hate your life a little bit, but but it, but it, but, it, but it amuses you. Like that's exactly who this game like the, the humor is kind of aimed at. Is the background real video? I can't. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's some like can <laughs> like that's it, that's always. here. That's San Francisco. Yes, yeah, that's San Francisco. That's the old Bay Bridge. Um, <laughs> so this is not really totally indicative of how the whole game plays. So I'm gonna switch out of this particular area. But I wanted to just give people an idea of um, of just how like kind of silly and unhinged this game can can kind of get. So you saw the biker gang FMV there, and that gets a lot crazier. Um, grilled cheese sandwiches abound. Uh, there's a there's like there's a there's a scene where they're all eating massive grilled cheese sandwiches like the size of your head, Make and they're me and they're getting. Uh, me yeah. too, actually. <laughs> they're like, yeah, here. grilled um, cheese sandwiches, and they're really excited about it. And it's like, why are you so excited about grilled cheese yeah, sandwiches? Yeah, sign in is you again. Uh, we did see earlier, by the way, there, Damon, uh, and viewers at home, cloud syncing. So mm -hmm. as you know, Microsoft had talked about this, and it actually works great. Is if Vince comes over to my house, which effectively he has done here, yep. and signs in with this his profile. This is where Vince lives. <laughs> yeah. uh, Practically all so the time. So I haven't, I don't have anything in Loco Cycle unlocked yet. I only played the first level so mm. far. But Vince came over, we signed in as his profile, and then you saw it say syncing data in mm. the cloud, and it automatically had all of his saves ready to go. Yeah, and we didn't even do that beforehand. Like, I didn't. I don't think we, nope. we at any point, said, okay, let's sync this so that it's ready no, for the yeah. live stream. It just happened. Just happened. Yeah. So, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it is It is pretty neat. And again, this is load times. We were just talking about this mm -hmm. before. So, pretty common thing. Yeah, tw uh, $20 for this one, digital download. Mm -hmm. Also worth mentioning, 
This was another one that was originally announced as an Xbox 360, Xbox Live Arcade game. Yes. Yeah. Except here, unlike Crimson Dragon, this is actually still coming to Xbox 360, yeah. but they haven't announced when. Exactly. Right. But it is still still happening, or still scheduled to happen. And I think much like Crimson Dragon, the next generation hasn't done uh, hasn't done much for 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 this game. Not. Uh, it's not like a showcase for the Xbox. No, one. not 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 at all. Not in any shape. You know, which is why it's good that it's still coming to the 360 because this is not a game that at all needs to be on the Xbox. Right. Uh, S similar to Xbox Crimson Dragon, the right. 1080p and 60 frames is about the only benefit you're getting here right. from so the Xbox. Right. So here's one. an example of one like one of the different mini gameplay types. So this is just a basic. You know, they're putting obstacles in your path. If you hit the, the obstacles, it's going to damage to you. You want to avoid the obstacles. Um, you know, it's pretty basic, but now that you've seen this, like when this happens later in the game, and it will, it's going to be the same, the same like, thing. It, it's going to be the same thing almost. Like you're going to see all the same patterns come up. It's not really going to get any more difficult. Um, and that's kind of why, that's kind of why I gave the game what, what I gave it. No, there's nothing, there's nothing broken or mechanically borked about it. Like the combat and everything works. Uh, and, and the controls when you're driving feel pretty good, uh, if, if a bit inconsistent. But um, and the counters are all really cool. They have these awesome camera cuts that make everything, again, that action movie feel yeah. is really strong. Um, it's just a matter of the monotony that, that sets in once you realize that you're doing the same thing in the 15th level as you are so, first. Vince, obviously you're, you gave this a 6.4. Yes. But, you know, we, would you say that it's worth progressing all the way through just to see the goofy live action cutscenes. In, in my opinion, like it is. Like again, it's one of those things where and people at home don't always think about this. They think, oh, it, again, they think about the the test grading, you know, style and oh, if it's a 6.4, it's a terrible game. There's no reason anyone would want to play this. That's not the case at all, you know. Yeah. We're we're you know, we're assessing a game's overall value sure. and you know what it is as well. objectively as we can. You know, to the best of our abilities, but it, that doesn't mean that a six has nothing good going for it. Oh, like, personally, so, yeah. I I did enjoy my time with Loco Cycle. I don't think it's a good game. It's got um, enough problems that I feel like it's not quite there, but it's memorable. Uh, the story is funny and silly in a in a very '90s action movie kind of way, and I grew up with those kinds of films. So, you know, I found myself wanting to still wanting to throw throw in the game for a minute or two just to see some of the cutscenes and play. Right. You know, a level at a time, maybe, and then walk away from it. Yeah, uh, and it's totally serviceable in that way. A great example, uh, Beyond Two Souls, mm -hmm. which uh -huh. we just reviewed. Sure, you know, we gave uh, IGN gave that game a six, a six or six point something as well, and which I completely agree with. But also, and, and Mitch and some other people in the office feel the same way. I think I would absolutely recommend that anyone sure. play Beyond Two Souls because it's such a. It's such a fascinating thing, even though it's not that great of a game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if you like, look, if you grew up in arcades, that's the other thing. Like, we remember we had that term Xbox Live Arcade. That's like kind of what Microsoft brands everything for a while. That's downloadable. Yeah. Not but anymore. Not yeah. right. They, they did for a long time. Rest in peace, time. Xbox Live Arcade. <laughs> sure, and for a long time they did. And what was funny about that is that very few of those games felt like something I would have played at an arcade when I was yeah. growing up. This feels very much like something I would have I would have popped sure. a quarter into. It has that kind of over the top style. Um, the grading system, the mechanics are simple. There's not a lot of complicated stuff that you have to do, but it's all very much just reaction based and skill based and learning based. You know, you figure out how you're supposed to beat this, and then once you know it, it's just up to your muscle memory to execute it again and again. Um, so again, for like a long extended playtime, it can get kind of tedious. But you know, I think a lot of old great arcade games probably would have gotten tedious if you were able to sit there and play them for six hours straight sure, of instead of for two minutes or five minutes at a time. And that's a great example. Uh, of that. Speaking of great live arcade games, Damon, I know you're a big Xbox Live Arcade guy. Mm -hmm. What the hell? We never got. Where did Super Time Force go? I still want to play it's that. Still game. coming. What's still up? coming? Like, yeah. Anyway, those guys are taking their time. A little bit of an aside. I love, I love, I love Cappy. I love yeah. Cappy. And and you know one of the things that I don't think uh, I don't know what the sound situation is for the people watching at home, but you're also missing one of the other great parts of it because right now we can't hear it too well, and that's Lisa Foyle's voicing uh, Iris, the, uh, the the motorcycle. motorcycle. She is hysterical. Like that, it, it, she talks a lot in this game. So if it wasn't good, it could have easily gotten very annoying. Yeah, yeah. But Lisa Foyle's like threads this nice needle between like being like Glados and like Johnny Five, and it's just <laughs> it's just fun. And um, even though some of the stuff with Pablo is a little, a little questionable, like everything, everything involving her and just her lines is just a lot of good movie references, a lot of fun quotes. Makes it a good time. Well, we do have a copy of Loco Cycle to give away, so one lucky viewer can check it out for themselves. Let's give it to Cooler Nerds. 
who says Locust right. Cycle is easily the most intriguing launch title in my eyes. <laughs> Would you liken the quirkiness of Amped 3 for Xbox 360? Um, I can see that comparison uh, a little bit, yeah, but I think once you start playing it, you'll realize that the quirkiness here is very much its own thing, and it's hard to tell that from what we've seen here, but you'll be five minutes into the first cutscene, like the live-action cutscene, and you'll be like, this is a different level of weird and a different kind of weird <laughs> than you've ever really seen. And I think for that reason alone, it's worth it's worth it. Out. It sounds, uh, Damon, it sounds like that copy of Locust Cycle is going to find itself a good home. Yeah, he yeah. wants to check it out. So. <laughs> it's good. We're, next up, we're going to switch over to NBA 2K. 